Spinball Wizard's going to be removed from Alton Towers Resort. No. No, it isn't. Here's why. Spinball Wizard is a Mara spinning coaster located at Orton Towers right next to Sea Bibby's Land. It opened in 2004 as part of a deal with Merlin and Mara Rides, which also saw the opening of Dragon's Fury at Chesington. But with its 20th birthday just round the corner, what does the future hold for this popular family coaster? Well, I don't think it's going anywhere. In 2010, Spinball Wizard was transferred into Sonic Spinball, where it's probably looking the best it ever had done with shops, theming, Sonic statues, and a good repaint. But in 2015, we said bye-bye Sonic, and welcome back Spinball Wizard, unfortunately. Basically, the dealship between Sega and Orton Towers just crumbled apart like Jewel did at the end of last season. Many rumours and more so speculation has been happening of what the future of this land could hold if Spimble wasn't there. Well, firstly, an expansion of Sea Bibby's Land is always being said, which is probably the most likely thing to happen if Spimble was ever removed. What would fit really nicely is a family coaster for the area, not as small as Octonauts, but not as big as Spimble Wizard, just bang on in the middle, because it feels like Sea Bibby's Land definitely needs another coaster of some sort, or of course, some more flat rides. It's a pretty big area that Spimble sits in and would be pretty cool and a pretty big plot of land for some small scale Sea Bibby's Land themed flat rides. A coaster that would be pretty nice for the land would potentially be a small scale Vacoma boomerang like accelerator at Drayson Manor or potentially Velocico no not Velo Velociraptor at Poulton's Park. Those two are pretty nice family coasters and I think would be sort of towards the thrill end of Sea Bibby's land which I think the area could do with. Another coaster that potentially could fit the area pretty well is a family coaster from Intamin, like this one on your screen, but on a smaller scale. That could be pretty nice. Theme it to Postman Pat or something. I don't know. Alternatively, a Gerslauer family coaster like Troublesome Trucks would be pretty cool in the area with a unique train design and more flat rides around the area. That could look pretty cool. Okay, okay, there's no point discussing all this because I firmly believe that Spinball will not be going anywhere in at least the next 10 years. At the start of this season, Alton Towers actually installed a brand new computer system on Spinball. Granted, it took until April, but it was great to see Alton Towers looking after one of their older rides, which further secures the point that if they don't have long-term plans for Spinball, why would they do all of that work? They're not just going to say, hey, let's, let's do it for the sake of it. If they were planning to remove it, wouldn't they leave it SBNO forever? Like... A certain attraction. Also, Spinball is a very popular ride. For instance, right at this second, it's on a 70 minute wait. Yes, 70 minutes, which shows guests sure do like a spin on Spinball Wizard. Crowds love it, and because of its 1.2 meter height restriction, it caters to a lot of the families at Orton Towers, which is great, with Towers being quite a thrill heavy park. But over the years, the actual look and aesthetic of Spinball has drastically decreased. It seems after the Sonic franchise left the ride, Orton Towers just couldn't give a monkeys about what it looks like. I mean, come on, there's even still Dr. Eggman on the ride. And I know I make jokes about it quite a lot, but it just seems like it's been left almost as if towers are saying, what's the point? The station art box looks, well, like this, dire. Don't get me started on the track colour. Please repaint this just like Dragon's Fury at Chesington. Take small steps. They painted the supports last season, a lovely, bright, vibrant red colour at Chesington, and it gives the whole coaster a facelift. It looks about 10 years younger. We can only assume that Chesington will do the track next season. Then it will look brand new. I really wish Autumn Towers could just do the same with Spinball. Just give it that little bit of Towers TLC it deserves. Also, the area around Spinball is dire as well. Units are never open. Just at least sprucing that up. Open Spinball Noodles back up if you want to, or knock it down. Create a seating area. I don't really mind. Just so much that Alton Towers could do with the area. The limited amount of theming that Spinball has as well is an insult to what Alton Towers have done recently with Nemesis. Just some theming would be nice, other than Dr. Eggman and the grass. Yes, grass. The trains on Spinball are actually pretty comfy with that lap bar, so nothing to actually complain about there. And the ride packs a good layout into what is a pretty compact piece of land. And the general public still loves Spinball. The idea of spinning whilst on a roller coaster is exciting to many. And because of that, I can't see Orton Towers removing a ride that the public likes. Unless, of course, it's starting to cost a fortune to run like another Mara coaster up the road. Flying over the Camelbacks, then accelerate and tumble headfirst into the Cubanate. I think Spinball still has at least another six to 10 years at Towers. If a ride was to be removed, it probably would be Rita or Spinball, but still, I don't think that this will happen for a good number of years. I don't enjoy Spinball as much as I used to and definitely think Chesington got the better end of the deal with Dragon's Fury, but with a bit of love and a bit of money, Spinball could be looking 
very fresh. I think Spinball was a great example of how IPs can actually be beneficial to a ride. It looks so much better than what it does now. And of course, that brand recognition of guests seeing a new Sonic ride is obviously going to get the kids begging to go towers. Is Sonic as popular anymore in the video game world? Probably not, but in the movie world, arguably, yes. Will Sonic ever return to Spinball? No chance. But would I scowl at the idea of having another IP on Spinball? No, not at all. I actually think that it could give Spinball another chance. However, at some point in our life, Spinball will be tragically removed and replaced. The most likely option is an expansion of CBB's land, but, but, but... Alton could surprise us with a new coaster in the area or even better arguably at this point a flat ride Obviously for a major coaster the land of Spinball isn't particularly huge But you could still maybe get two large-scale flat rides in the area gyro swings and pearl and nebulous air race super air race Any at this point, please Alton Towers would do if it was to be a coaster I think of course it would be family orientated just because of the size maybe even a wild moose RMC you never know. Oh, I just pieced together the puzzle. Thanks, John Burton. Spimble Wizard is going to get RMC'd 2028. Just remember, you heard it here first. There we go. What do you think the future of Sonic Spimble is, or Spimble Wizard as it's now known? Let me know in the comment section down below. What would you like to retheme it to if you have the option? Would you go back to Sonic? Would you keep it as Spimble Wizard? Would you go with a totally new theme or a new IP? Let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear, and you guys come up with some amazing themes. So let me know in the comments. And if you made it this far into the video, thank you so much for watching. And because you did, I'll give you a little sentence to put in the comment section down below. Hashtag Dr. Eggman still lives on. He's still there and he's still standing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. The Spinning Roller Coaster SC3000. Custom designed. All the fascination of roller coasting with a unique movement concept realized by Maurer Zona Amusement Rides. It really draws the crowds and fits perfectly into the park architecture. The sophisticated track plan and the unique spinning cars turn every ride into an unforgettable experience. Real spinning pleasure. Thanks to entirely new rail technology and single car operation. High bank curves. Uh.